guy, I don't know if he's still uh, alive or not, named Edward de Bono, and he was famous for some for giving seminars and whatnot, but his big thing was he would stimulate lateral thinking, and when companies would be in a bind, they couldn't come up with a solution, they needed to think of a new idea, he would pull out a dictionary and then randomly pick out words. <coughs> So when you open the dictionary and you point at a word, it can be anything. I mean, the dictionary is full of different words. And so there would be this group of people, and they're sitting around the conference room table, and they can't figure out, they got a problem, and they can't figure out what to do. So he goes in the dictionary, pulls this up, and they, they start going through these words. What the words do is when, is when the person, when the brain starts to think of the word, begins to draw associations and connections. So what he was trying to do was to randomly pick these words so that there could be an association to the problem. And in a very strange sort of way, what would happen is all of a sudden people would start to free up their thought process. Instead of thinking inside the box, they started to begin to laterally think or to go outside of the box. And I'm not suggesting you pick up the, the dictionary, you, you go in with the CEO, you think you're crazy. What are you doing? Bring that dictionary in here. You know? Picking out some words there. But... Uh, the idea is that sometimes if we can focus on something else and don't look at the problem or the solution head on, then what it does is it stimulates our mind. We begin to connect the dots, fill in the blanks, begin to make those associations, and we begin to come up with the ideas. Um, the other part to idea generation is practice, because I think all of us have that capability to generate new and original ideas, but most of us don't do that because we don't practice it. So if you practice it and allow yourself to do it, allow yourself to be creative, um, then uh, you should be able to apply that to the workplace. So you get out your dictionary when, um, when times are tough, right? The solution's in the dictionary. Or I've also heard people use the Bible. Uh, I'm not that religious. I would, I would tend to stay away from the Bible, though.